Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to today's intermission for Let's Play Devil May Cry 5. This video is going to contain some stuff that I couldn't fit in the main series. First being the Urizen prologue fight and the secret ending. I did this with an added challenge because I did this without Nero's Devil Breaker, so I did this with one arm. Uh, because Nero's kit isn't quite complete yet. And you can't come back to do this with Devil Breakers until it is. So I did this hard thing the hard way with literally just one arm. Unfortunately, this was not my cleanest attempt. Uh, my clean attempt involved me dying because I messed literally one thing up and missed killing him in two cycles. Uh, and then I just sort of made a couple of mistakes in a row and died with him at 1% health. But leading up to that point, I had a triple S for most of the fight, and that's what hurts the most in my soul. Uh, but the biggest takeaway of this fight is you don't really have to leave melee attack range until he tosses you away in phase one. Uh, things don't hurt as bad in phase one. He also doesn't layer his threats as much. I took a lot of stray hits here simply because I was being greedy, which is mostly fine in this phase. You aren't in immediate danger. You can be a bit more careful if you want to preserve your health going into the second phase if you're not confident about it. But by this point, I had fought him so many times, I was perfectly okay with that. Also, I may have been a little bit on tilt from that 1% attempt. Uh, but it's okay to take stray hits in phase one. So, you're just going to be attacking into the crystallized Yamato until you break it open like so, and then to really lay on the damage. You're looking for combo D and also uh, charge shot bursts. I think that's the way to go, or at least it's the way it was for me. And I just happened to mess up a combo D in the attempt I was talking about before and didn't complete it, so it was just the three hits and no finisher. Which left him mm, just a little bit too healthy to do it in two cycles. You can see he's below half health from just doing that though, so this will be a fun two cycle. Also, uh, to do that efficiently, I was just holding the controller kind of weird to charge the gun while I did combo D and rev at the same time. Uh, because I didn't rebind buttons. And by the end of each full combo, you should have a completed charge shot. Now in phase two, he changes his patterns up and you have to respect him a lot more because he does a lot more damage and because those patterns are a lot more uh, tricky to dodge. Like this, whenever you see him start a laser up, this is where you really have to start respecting that, and the Quicksilvers. Uh, if you don't learn that one specific attack pattern, you will feel like it's unfair, but it's not. Uh, if, so if you see him ever start a laser up, back up immediately to get ready for the Quicksilver, uh, and then occasionally he'll just do a raw Quicksilver and do some fireballs like that, that's no problem. Uh, the thing that's that you're looking for is just the startup of the laser, because it's always going to be followed by the same things, like this. So you back up, you avoid the Quicksilver as best you can. He starts the second laser, they sweep and kind of converge, or uh, pass over each other. As soon as that happens, he throws the two fireballs, you avoid those, and then as soon as you land, you jump again to avoid the second laser, the final one sweeping across one more time. And it's always that same pattern. But until you learn it, it just feels like you're getting uh, you're, you're getting relentlessly assaulted there. And there's it feels like there's no way to deal with it. But there is. It's just a very specific pattern. And then if you get to a third phase, he changes things again and starts delaying the timing of the lasers when they sweep, which messes with the rhythm you learn in phase two.
By the way, the secret ending is the same if you beat him in Mission 8. Now, the other thing y'all are going to want to see are the EX taunts that cost 300000 apiece, and they are worth it. Come on. Let's rock. Yeah. 